Hi everyone and welcome back to Budget with V. Today's video is a really exciting one because I'm going to be reallocating these two completed challenges. So I've got the 20 in 2024 from Studio Budget Co and the Save 5 Pound Challenge from Save with Sophie. I completed these in my last cash stuffing and I should have 980 between them. So uh, this one saved 480 and this one saved 500. Now I do have a mixture of cash and placeholders. So let's give it a count. Let's just organize the money. So we have 300, 550 in placeholder. I'm going to swap this for some smaller placeholders. If I can find some. Yes. So I've got a 200 and 250s here. So I'm going to swap that for this 300. Um, so 2, 4, 550. Six, six fifty seven, twenty forty, sixty eighty eight, twenty forty, sixty eighty nine, twenty thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. So nine hundred and eighty, which is amazing. I'm so so pleased. This these two challenges have been going since I think the start of this year. So quite a while. I just realized I have no fives which I will need. So I'll put these placeholders at the back to reallocate. Um, fives. Actually, I have some in my back to bank envelope, I think. So let's go in there. Let's see what we can do. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So I'm gonna swap a 50. Or I might swap two 20s and a 10 for those 50 in fives. Cool. All right, so let's get started, shall we? Um, I'm going to start with my binder um, because I'm going to reallocate some of the money into here. Um, just because it doesn't get a lot, a lot of love. So it'll be nice to top it up. So I'm gonna put some into splurge just because I deserve some <laughs> of this money. So I'm gonna put $30 into here. So 20, 30. And we'll add that to the money we have already. So we have $2 in coins. We have 20, 30, 40, 45, 47. Cool. Shopping, I'm going to be adding $50. I don't know if I want to use this money on some Etsy bits or some new jeans because I really need new jeans. I'm not going to add anything to spa, but adventure is getting a big chunk of this money, which is 200. And I'm going to do that in placeholder. Um, so it's got 230 and that's just in case things pop up that I want to do. Um, so I have some money to do those things. Oh, tattoo. So this one is getting some money and it's getting $30, which is unlike it, isn't it? Um, so let's tick that off. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And this tracker here is from Budgets and Dreams. All right. And I think I'm actually going to use this money instead of for a tattoo, but for another piercing. Um, so I've got 16 then, yeah, and I might swap. I don't know if I'm gonna need more notes, so I'm gonna swap that for a 50. $60 in there. 
birthday. Now, birthday is actually getting fully funded today with this money. So this tracker saves 210 and we have 135. So I'm going to leave $10 and I'm going to take out this 25 and I'm going to add um, 100. So I'll put that 200 in and I'll take the 100 out. So now I've got 210 and we can actually complete this tracker. And this is for spending money for my birthday in August, which I'm so excited that this is done. It's been a long time. I've been slowly saving this $5 pretty much at a time. So it's nice to finish it off. I think that was 75 that I just put in. If I had 135, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. All right, so look, it's finished. That's so exciting. Okay, so $210 in there, fully funded. Savings, I'm actually going to be putting 100 into here. Um, so we've got 400. Ooh, so we've got 400 in the bank and we're going to add this 100 here. And we can swap all of these out for 500. So let me try and find a 500. Placeholder, because that's more fun. If I even have one, I don't. What I could do is use this one here. And I just need to rub it out. This, what we have here. Okay, and then we can write with a Sharpie 500. So it's sort of condensing at the same time, aren't we? But that is so exciting that we have $500 in here. I'm so excited. So 500 and 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. So 535. So we're over. The $500 mark. That's incredible. So pleased with that. Next is the UK. And that is actually getting um, 100 as well. So I'm going to swap those 250s and add this 100 placeholder. Um, so this is an exciting amount to be putting into here. I'm actually going to swap. Sorry for the, all the swapping, but I want to have the same placeholders in here. So swap those two. So we've got 150 in the bank now. 60, 70, 170 in our travel fund. And that means we can cross off our first 100 off this bigger tracker. And then when we reach our next 100, we'll cross off that and then rub that out and we'll do it again. These are so pretty. These are from Studio Budget Co. as well. So as you can see, lots and um, lots of these ones in my binder are getting a big chunk. Um, and then soon we'll go into the smaller amounts. So giveaways is getting $20 to start that one back off for my 1K giveaway once we reach that milestone. Self-care, I'm going to give 75, so I'm going to do that in cash. So we've got 50, 70, 75, which is nice to be putting such a big amount in here because these, all of these sinking funds don't really get topped up every week or every fortnight for me. So 10, 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So we've almost finished all of the tens on that. Let's get the money and add that in. 
So we've now got 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100 in self-care. Oh, my finder is so much more full now, which is amazing. I love having some more money in that one. Let's just work our way through the binders. So the next is annuals. I just wanted to add a little bit here and there to other categories as well. So um, I'm adding to Josh's graduation and I'm just going to add $10 into here just to add something. So that finishes that first line. So let's see what we have. We have 50, 70, 80, 90, 95. Um, just having a look if we're adding anything in to here other than that. I don't think so. Future Baby, which is this binder, is going to get a full 50. And I'm going to do that in placeholder. And this gets us to the $2,000 mark total in this binder. So we're going to add it to here. So we've got $250 in this challenge now. And we can cross this whole next line off for 50. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So that's officially at 2000 for that whole binder, which is amazing. I feel like I'm flying through this. That's okay. Um, all right. Go into this general binder next because we have a little bit going in here. Um, so dates was meant to get 50. So that's 20, 40, 50. I might even put 10 of that into gifts just because I know that my, oh, sorry, the heat is on. I just realized, I hope it's not too loud. Um, I do need a little bit more money in here for my parents' gifts. So I'm going to put 10 into that. So I'm going to take this 10 out out of 20. So we've got 40 in gifts. And then go into date night and that's getting 20, 30, 35, 40 to build up towards our next date. Okay. That's it for there. Um, now let's see how much we have left. Or oh, actually, no, I've missed a whole binder, haven't I? So sinking funds is next. Let me just go turn the heater off. Um, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and the heater is off. So hopefully that's a bit quieter. So sinking funds is going to get a little bit of love. So we're going to skip to travel and trips. I don't know if I ever showed you that I swapped this, this little dashboard out, but I did. <laughs> um, so this is actually going to get $75 today. So let's get the cash. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 75. We can add that in. Um, I think I'm just going to leave the tracker for now. Um, but we will complete this one. I need my thinner pen to write on here. We're adding 75, 9. So that'll give us 604, I believe. So what this will do um, is we've now got enough money in this category to pay for the deposit. No, not the deposit, sorry, the rest of the accommodation, which is 579. Um, so let's just count this up to make sure. We've got 500 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600, and four in coins. So if we, that's one, 21, $25 extra to that, um, that we have now in here, and that's the start of our spending money. 
So hopefully we'll be able to put a little bit more into here soon to have a bit more spending money. But we'll also be taking our usual budgets for eating out and groceries because it's a whole week that we're going away. Um, what else? Oh, pet emergency. I'm going to be popping in just a 20 into here just to keep that one going. So 20. So that gives us 500 in the bank, 700 in the bank, 20, 25, 30. 30, so 730. And we can cross off two more icons. Yeah, a lot of these sinking funds and things haven't had much added to it because we haven't had much extra. So it's really, really satisfying to be able to, be able to do this today. Good, and it's just a little bit. Then emergency fund is going to get 35 um, and that's to get it to the next 50. So we've got 20, 35 and I might swap these two tens, actually a 10 and two fives for the 20. Okay, so now we've got 50 in cash and 3,500 in the bank. That's good. Okay. I believe we should have $60 left. So let's just check. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Perfect. And 60. So this $10 is actually going to be starting. Let me get a bit over here. Starting this $500 savings binder. And this one's from Budget with Sean, but I'm going to be using this towards chunks off a new car. So this is saving. We still haven't actually bought the new car, but um, we have $1,500 towards it. And we're going to be doing this to save up the next $500 towards it. So that this $10 can go in the first pocket because that's a ten dollar and we can cross off this first one here like that <gasps> yay I should have done a pink or something to cross it off but I might change that cool so that one's officially started which is great the rest of this money is $50 towards our joint savings binder because we haven't done that in a little while and I wanted to start it back up with a little bit of a boost. So if you haven't seen this binder before, um, it's uh, my husband and I's joint savings binder. So we have some challenges in here. I've got one, two, three, four, five and six challenges. Um, and I'm going to roll the dice and put a $5 note in where it says to put it in. Um, and then it's just small challenges to build up a larger, um, towards a larger goal. So it might go towards holiday. It might go towards new car or whatever. I'm, I'm not sure at this point, but let's roll the dice. Might use this one. Um, this little wooden dice. I actually got this out of a Christmas cracker last Christmas, but it was perfect. I like it. Okay, number one. Number three. That's this little one. And this, each stripe is 10, so I'm going to be putting 10 into there. Four. That's this one. Number one. Oh, that's such a fresh five dollar note. Number two. That's seasonal. And I've made each of these ten as well. So I'll put ten into there. Number 
five. So three, four, and five. Number three. One, two, three. And that's our last ten dollars. Cool. So let's start from the beginning. So we had ten dollars into butterfly savings. I'm going to do this one quick. So I might. What should I do? Yeah, I'm just going to color the centers of this butterfly. This one, this savings challenge is from Prince by Carly Studio. One hope giveaway. So that's got ten dollars in it, and this one says one hundred. Seasonal from that budget chick. And I've started winter and I'm going to do this little hat. So this will save 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It's just a small little challenge. This one got five, 10, 15, $20, which was a little freebie from that budget chick. So I'm gonna do two stripes. And this one also saves 50. That's a nice little challenge. These are some really dirty notes, can I just say? <laughs> I should swap them to ones that I'll spend somewhere else. Um, I've got five into this one, which is from Save with Sophie. I've done this before. Each leaf is five, so we'll do one leaf. It's sort of not that noticeable that I've done that one, but that's okay. That also saves 50 and then five into the 100 and nothing into this last challenge. So let's do this five here. I might color this one in black. I feel like it looks better. Let's color it in black. Cool. And that's obviously saves 100. So we've started this binder off again, which is great. And even if we can do it um, just a little bit added at a time, that's okay. And it'll get there. So that's great. So we're really able to top up a lot of different things with that money. And I'm so, so grateful that I was able to finish those challenges. I know they're pretty large challenges. So um, it's really exciting to be actually completed some of them and it's taken me a little while I think I've started those about five months ago so it's taken me a little while with my every fortnight spending money um but yeah I'm really happy with how I divvied it all up and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video these are my personal favorite to watch and to film so yeah please let me know what you thought um if you think I did okay in my um distribution of the funds but yeah I had a lot of fun filming it. I hope you're having a really good week and I'll catch you again next time. Bye.